I know you haven't seen like a hair update for me in a while, but I'm super excited after touching up my hair last weekend successfully with a new version of the, well not, not new, but like new to me version of the Shiseido Crystallizing Straight. This one is like EX1. I'm going to put a picture of it like here or something, but basically it's like the super version. After successfully touching up my hair, it has been a solid week, I want to say, uh, because today's Sunday, I touched it up on Sunday, that I've done my hair, so I just finished oiling it, and then I'm letting that sit for a while before I shampoo my hair like two or three times, and then go straight into styling. I don't deep condition anymore. Even just putting on a hair mask for five minutes really wasn't helping my hair. Actually, it was kind of hurting it because most of the conditioners I have like have proteins in them and things like that and the protein was too much for my hair surprisingly with the japanese straight perm you don't need as much protein unless your hair is like um, higher porosity because my hair is a lower porosity there's really no need for me to use that much protein so even a three minute hair mask can hurt more than it helps i finished oiling my hair i'm going to show you what i oiled my hair with and then I'll give you an update after I shampoo my hair. Okay, I'm back after washing my hair twice. I'll insert a picture of the shampoo that I use here. It's from Garnier, it's their Pure Clean Shampoo. It's like the most basic, most affordable, and most accessible shampoo. And I've been using it for over a year now. But anyway, this is my hair in a microfiber um, wrap. And I will show you what it looks like. Remember, I just shampooed it twice and I don't condition it because I just Go straight in with leave-in conditioner. This is my hair. It is straight, straight. That's just the nature of the Japanese straight perm. I think with relaxed hair, if your hair was this straight, sometimes it's like compromised. There are relaxers that will get your hair this straight without completely um, damaging your hair. But for the straight perm, this is the ideal straight or this is like the how straight is supposed to be and your hair only has one bond that like is made into jelly and then reshaped my hair today I'm going to do a heatless style um, because I don't really feel the need to put a lot of heat on my hair I'm going in first with my diluted kinky curly you see how I just kind of loosely split my hair down the middle it doesn't have to be perfect now going in with my Garnier Fructis sleek and shine conditioner this this amount on each side. And this is my tangle teaser. You can see it's really not picking up too much hair. Some of the hair was already on the brush. Just like that, both sides of my hair are detangled. That didn't take any time. Okay, for my ends, I'm just going to put a little oil. I'm just going straight in with the Minoy. Tiare oil. Just a little, a little bit. You can hardly see it because my hands mostly absorbed it. But I'm just 
focusing it on my ends. Okay, now I'm going in with this little heatless curl headband. This is more flexible than the ones that I've seen trending. Like, it literally folds up, so I prefer it. And then I'm taking this mini hair clip and I'm going to sit in there. Make sure it's even and clip. I've seen recently with somebody who did it as a braid and I thought, so much easier. So I'm going to try that and see how that goes. Folding that part up and taking the satin scrunchie and securing it. That's it for today and I will show you tomorrow exactly how it looks. Good morning. I slept with my bonnet on top. Let's see how it looks when I take it down. Wow, okay. braid might have been a good idea yeah don't take these down without oil i guess is the moral of the story with a little bit of oil it looks so different actually the waves they look more natural this way i'm looking in my mirror over there it looks so freaking good i'm gonna flip around so you can see the back This is, this is my hair for those who haven't seen pictures on my Instagram of like how long my hair is right now. It's like this long right now. It looks good and you see even with a straight perm you can get curls but they're more like um, soft curls especially I didn't use any gel I just used leave-in conditioner wavy pretty natural looking curls I feel like I get the best braid outs ever <laughs> but yeah I'm also gonna flip around and show you like the difference with the shrinkage, my hair in the back. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me as um, my uploads have been inconsistent. I hope to start posting again consistently here. But if you've been looking for updates or whatever, I'm going to link my Instagram below because I update on my Instagram a lot more consistently than on here. Thank you for following along for my journey. Um, if you haven't checked out any of my other videos on my Japanese straightening, journey i will also link some suggestions down below thank you once again hope you're having a wonderful day or you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening